Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to go over some projects that I made using the Golden Days box. Um, this is our, excuse me, the curated bead box labeled the Golden Days. So these were the items that I received in the curated bead box. Um, and it took me a while to create this particular collection of stuff because, well, everything's yellow. <laughs> There's a lot of things in here that are yellow. Um, now, once I got going, it seemed to be a little bit easier, but it was the initial like startup that I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Because I'm very used to working in silvers and not necessarily golds and yellows. Like my collection of yellow beads is very, 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 very small. Um, so anyway, um, this is the curated bead box and it is the golden days. So um, this is, every, well, you can't see everything because you're zoomed in, but this is the collection. Now I'm just gonna kind of move everything off the board. And part of my allergies, I stepped outside to check my mail and oh my gosh, the pollen is so bad lately. I am in South Carolina right now and um, oh my gosh, the allergies, the pollen is a nightmare. My car, for those of you who don't know, I have a burgundy colored car. Um, it's yellow right now because pollen is everywhere. Okay, so first and foremost, I wanted to show you this piece. This piece was not part of the Golden Days box, but I did want to show you because it was my first attempt at a wrap. Now, I really do enjoy the wraps. Um, they're a lot of fun, and I do have boxes to put these in now. I did not when I created this, so I just kind of like set it down. But um, I wanted to show you guys. I was very pleased with this. My youngest daughter actually helped with the design on this. Um, because originally I did not have beads going all the way up. It was only, let's see if I can zoom you in just a smidge here. I know you're zoomed in a good bit, but Oh my gosh, I've already taken a Benadryl this morning and it is just so bad. Okay, so you see right here where there's two different hoops. One's got pink beads, one's got these cream colored beads. Originally it was just the cream colored beads and then I asked my daughter's opinion and she agreed that the pink beads in between definitely helped add to the elegance of this particular piece. So this is a rose gold um, and it's got pastel pinks and creams and the silver medallion. Now the wrapping is actually this piece here. So I created this um, reverse teardrop is what it looks like to me um, or a teardrop, you know, not quite as teary, more of a circle almost anyway I created that with 16 gauge wire and then I wrapped it with 20 gauge wire and I used rose gold wire as well and I also wrapped using the same pastel beads up here I used on the sides so anyway I thought that was really really neat and I wanted to show you guys so there's that and like I said, I do have jewelry boxes now, which is really cool. Uh, those just came in the other day. So now, whenever you buy the jewelry, it'll come in this nice, pretty little gift box versus just a simple bag. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and then, let's see. Here's a bracelet made with the golden day. Everything else is made with the golden days. Um, gem or beads. So the beads that came out of the golden days for this are these rose colored stones here. 
and the clasp actually and the wire I forgot that the wire came in there as well as well as the crimp beads so the wire the crimp beads and the hook and the jump ring and these beads these rose colored beads all came out of the curated bead box all right um Okay, so you're playing with the audio a little bit. Uh, let's see, this is a necklace. And it looks actually very yellow. It's not quite that yellow. I'm not sure why the coloration is so off right now. Maybe it just doesn't like all this yellow. See, that's actually um, a lot better. But when I hold it up, it looks more yellow, which doesn't make any sense. If I take my hands away, it actually shows more of the true color. There we go. And it's got the toggle clasp. I love the toggle clasp. I like the toggle clasp personally, um, especially on necklaces, because I have long nails and I prefer the toggle clasp over the lobster clasp because it's easier to do. Here's a bracelet. Now this bracelet can actually matches uh, two necklaces and I'll show you both. Um, this is a, um, oh, that's way too far, uh, seven and a half, seven and three quarter inch bracelet. It's this one. So this was actually the second bracelet that I've made that was not memory wire or stretchy. Oops. I just dumped that out of my bag. Okay. So that bracelet can go with um, one of two necklaces or both. So this is the first one. This is a toggle clasp as well. As you can see, the, the ring is going all the way down here. Okay. There's that one. Okay. And then There is this one. Now this one is actually really cool. Um, so a while back, a couple years ago, I would buy paparazzi jewelry from a friend of mine, Miss Cheryl, and I would use it in crafts. Well, I had this medallion left from one of the necklaces and these little hook, these little, I don't know, bells or lanterns or whatever they are. And so I put one on each side of the chain and then the medallion on the bottom. And I thought that was really cute. So those are recycled or that, uh, the lantern and then the metal medallion or charm or whatever you call it. Uh, let's see what else. So this is a memory wire bracelet here. Okay. Oh, and I also made this one too. I forgot about this one, but I'm keeping this one. I wanted to make something to keep for myself. Uh, same with the last collection. Um, I'm keeping this one here. It's got a little butterfly. I had a single butterfly left, so I put it on this bracelet and decided to keep it. So anyway, here's the stretch bracelet. Or not the stretch bracelet the memory wire bracelet and the both of these beads actually came from the golden days box the clear crystals as well as the marbled glass beads the black and gold okay. I forgot to tell you what the other ones were but that's okay as far as like what came in the box um, so for these guys, it would be these pieces here and these pieces here. So both of these yellow pieces. Okay. 
And I kind of like this one because it is a mix of metals. It's got the gold and the silver. So that's one of the reasons I really like that one. This one here, the these guys here, that's what came in the box. And this one is another toggle clasp. This one's a longer necklace. Uh, I think this one's a 20 inch. Yeah, this one's a 20 inch. I actually really like the 20 inch necklaces because um, I was talking to Wayne and um, I can wear a 16 inch necklace but I can't see it like if I look down at my at my necklace I can't see it if it's a 16 inch but if it's an 18 inch or a 20 inch and I look down I can see it and I really like to see my bracelets or my bracelets my necklaces so I'm gonna take my hand away from this because uh, it's showing up very very yellow it's not quite that yellow let's see does it look any different if i put this on there maybe a little bit so these came in today i really do like these um it gives you a little bit of a contrast So I really like this one. A friend of mine said it looked very uh, fairy-like. Very whimsical. Um, oh, and the beads that came in the box for this one are the two end beads here, the two gold ones, and then the, um, I don't know if they're bicone or not because they're they're tapered more on one side than a traditional back home but anyway these guys here also came in the box hey where are you going and i just added the flowers those are clay beads and the butterflies which are firestone glass beads okay and then stay uh, let's see another memory wire is this one here This is another one that I need to take my hand away I think um, These yellow beads here oops these yellow beads here those are what came in the box And like I said it was very difficult for me because my collection of yellow beads is like this big compared to like massive amounts of other colors um okay so this is actually one of my favorites i like so much that i'm not sure if i want to sell it or not uh this one is a 24 inch necklace uh with the hope uh, without the hoop, just bead to bead, it's a, I don't know, let's see, there's the roller, and it's going, I can get it to line up, so it's about 11 and 3 quarters times 2, so 23, 24 and a quarter, or 24 and a half rather. 23 and a half so anyway that's a longer one um, and it's got the emerald colored seed beads and then these rose colored beads are what came in the curated box and I absolutely love this necklace This is by far one of my favorites. I actually have a couple favorites, but this is one of them for sure. Okay, so this next collection is very interesting. So I recently got um, some magnet closures and I made a necklace using a magnet closure for the very, very first time. And I went to pull it on and I um, pulled to separate the magnets. And the magnets were so strong that it broke my string. 
So my beads went everywhere. And so instead of trying to recreate the necklace, I instead created three stretchy bracelets. So there's the first one. And these can all be layered or they can be bought, set. they'll be sold separately, but they can be layered on top of each other, which I very much enjoy because this one's nice and chunky for those that like the chunky bracelets. Um, there's that one. And then there's this one here. It's got a little bit of chunk to it. I love this one. I think this one turned out so cool. Oh, and these black and um, the black and clear marbled beads, that is what came out of the curated box. So there's this one here. I love, love, love this one. And then this one is for the, I don't know if I like chunky or not. So it's got uh, three of the marbled beads and then the purple seed beads in between. Okay. So these are um, seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah, seven and a half inch around. Um, they will stretch, obviously. Uh, but if you like them loose like this, um, I would say seven and a half to seven and three quarters would probably be your best bet because these measure seven and a half in diameter. Um, so anyway, I thought those were super cute and I actually like them better than the necklace that I created, which, you know, go figure. I really, really, really liked this purple color. Um, it was definitely a change of pace from the... <laughs> the yellow I've been doing. Um, okay, I can put my mine back on. And these, none of these particular um, bracelets and necklaces are considered plus size, um, but the next collection that I'm gonna be doing is going to be from the March Bargain Bead Box. And my goal is to create nothing but plus size jewelry with the bargain bead box so that I can get to, I can advertise to my juicy ladies. Um, it was so funny. I was in a live the other day and uh, I had mentioned that I was, you know, fluffy and um, the lady was just so hilarious because she was just like, no, we juicy. I was like, oh my God, I love that. So I thought it was just the coolest thing. Um, so this has got a, a toggle clasp here, which I, like I said, I love the toggle clasps. Um, and it's just, it's so, so fun. Um, okay. So the beads that came out of the curated box are these golden beads here, these frosted beads, as well as these golden, I'm going to call them bicones. I don't think they are bicones, but these little guys here and as well as this guy here isn't that just so cool and this is one of my wire wraps this is what's called a messy wrap so that it's not super defined I think it's better if I just zoom in versus trying to take my thing up to, well, there we go. I don't know if y'all can see that. I hope you can see it. But anyway, I really liked this. This was actually my husband's idea, um, this color combination, uh, as well as this one here, actually, um, because he told me to um, use because I had like I said I had a hard time using this yellow um, and he was just like well what about a dark green like a jade or an emerald and I was like oh my gosh you are genius so yes this is definitely thanks to my husband um, he came up with this dark color let's see if I can't put this on here and show you there we go
That's what that looks like. Oh, and don't mind this fuzz. I have come to terms with this velvet bust that it is literally there just so I can see what it will look like on someone's neckline. I am not taking pictures with that thing anymore because it, call it as soon as I tape it, it's still oh, so dusty. Anyway, these are the earrings that I made to go with it. Um, again, they'll be sold. I don't know if these will be sold separately. These might be sold as a set, I think. But this one also has wrap on the bottom. Boop, boop. And they are, um, they're in gold hoop, uh, not hoops, they're in gold hooks to match the metal of the necklace. And last, but certainly not least, is another one of my favorites. So I saved my three favorites for last, is this one here. And this one is also a longer necklace. This one is a 22 inch necklace, a uh, 23 inch necklace. And that's from bead to bead. Now if you add the hooks to it, you're looking at a 23 four and a quarter, maybe 24 and a half. So this one is a very long, long necklace. It's got um, flowers at the top. So what came out of the curated bead box with this are the um, black and um, black and clear crackled glass and the white or not white, but the clear spacers the golden rondelles, or not rondelles, um, bicombs, and then the golden fauceted glass here, golden fauceted glass here, and this little guy here. And then this is another one of my wraps. This one is not a messy wrap. This one is a conformed wrap. Oh, and don't mind my finger. I swear I have band-aids on my fingers all the time. Because as soon as one heals, I slice and dice another one. Uh, what what happened here? Um, oh, I was I was cleaning. I say it like that because Wayne, he's like, you're always reorganizing your storeroom. Like, not always. Uh, oh, and the toggle on this one's actually really cool, too. This one is um, got a flower and toggle here and it just goes in like a so let's see what i mean about it. it's like super easy and the weight of the glass beads actually doesn't make it to where i'm worried that it's gonna unhook because they're really heavy anyway this one is probably my my favorite favorite out of all of them that's this one right here but it is blue, so and y'all know I love me some blue. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this collection from the curated bead box. And again, this is this collection is called Golden Days, and these items should be up on the shop shortly. I do have to take pictures. Um, I might be able to get that done today. But so if you're interested in any of these pieces, they should be up on the shop shortly. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.